towards Easter in the book of Luke, uh, I want to point out something from Luke 20. This is one of my favorite passages in all of scripture because it shows Jesus' ability to just completely school the so-called religious leaders at the time. So it's in Luke 20, verse 19. The scribes and the chief priests sought to lay hands on him at that very hour. Sought to lay hands on Jesus, that is. For they perceived that he had told this parable against them, but they, for, they feared the people. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be sincere that they might catch him in something he said, so as to deliver him up to the authority and jurisdiction of the governor. So they asked him, Teacher, we know that you speak and teach rightly and show no partiality, but truly teach the way of God. Is it lawful for us to give tribute to Caesar or not? But he perceived their craftiness and said to them, Show me a denarius. Whose likeness and inscription does it have? They said, Caesar's. He said to them, Then render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they were not able to, in the presence of the people to catch him in what he said, but marveling at his answer, they became silent. So first off, Jesus was in the temple at this time. Uh, so they shouldn't have had a denarius with them at all, with anyone's image on it, because this, this breaks the commandment of having no graven images. So the fact that they showed him a denarius, I mean, Jesus already won the argument. He already, he already defeated them. He didn't have to take it any further than that, but he did. He totally did. Because he asked the question, whose image is it made in? Knowing that what the people will be thinking is the Genesis passage where God makes man in his image. So whose, whose coin is the image made in? Caesar's. Then it's his. Whose image are you made in? God's. So you are his. Jesus schooled them so hard that they were silenced, marveling at his answer. But that's not what the point of uh, uh, Jesus' point was at all. His point was that we are made in God's image, so give ourselves over to him. Jesus says we are owned by God like the government owns money. More than that, though, is that we are loved by God. The mindset you should have from this is not just that Jesus is an oratory master, but that I am owned by this oratory master, and that you are owned by this oratory master. Keep this in mind this Easter. I am owned by God, and I am loved by God. You are owned by God, and you are loved by God. So give yourself over to him today.